So today I'm just going to quickly outline the patch notes that came out on July the 6th across all platforms. Uh, nothing too major in this particular patch. It was just a bunch of bug fixes related to gameplay. Uh, quests and dungeons, there's some fixes there. UI, um, some miscellaneous fixes. And then the, I guess the big thing now is that Helltide chests can now drop unique items. Uh, the other is some bosses have had their health and damage reduced. And also the cap for crafting materials has been increased from 999 to 9999 so that's another good fix there nothing too major in this particular patch the other thing to note is that there is news in terms of the first season of Diablo 4 so we've got this article here both the patch notes and this article I'll leave a link in the description down below but basically this first season of Diablo 4 is going to be about the season of the malignant and there's news here that on july 20 at 10 a.m pdt this new season will come out uh on july 18 they're actually going to release some more news about what's upcoming in this particular season with new unique items and new legendary aspects as well basically there's going to be new monsters that spawn throughout sanctuary and essentially when you kill these monsters, they will drop malignant hearts. It looks like after you kill a monster, it will drop a malignant heart, and these hearts can be uh, captured by using a ritual with the Cage of Binding, which is an item that you'll get throughout the season. Once you've captured the malignant heart, and it looks like it says there's going to be 32 different malignant hearts across four different categories, so we'll see what it is. But essentially, these malignant hearts will... Be taking the place of jewelry uh, you can see it says here it will be taking the place of jewelry as opposed to your gems so normally you would put skulls into your jewelry to get more armor well in this case putting the malignant hearts instead will give you some sort of buff i'm assuming um yeah so the notes don't doesn't say too much about what exactly the malignant heart what kind of buffs they will have but i'm assuming that uh, it might give you more damage or armor or something like this across uh, the four different categories it also says here one of the best places to acquire malignant hearts are in the new malignant tunnels which are basically new dungeons where you'll be farming malignant hearts and then you'll have a chance to fight a boss as well there's also more information about how seasonal characters will work so in terms of seasonal characters you'll be creating a new character your existing character on the eternal realms will not be carried over it says here you don't you don't need to purchase a battle pass or any add-ons to play the seasonal content but you must have completed the campaign on either eternal or seasonal realms with at least one character once you complete the campaign any seasonal character will start the game with the option to skip the campaign your mount is immediately available and all previously discovered altars of lilith are unlocked and the corresponding renown for them and all previously discovered areas of the map are revealed as well and the corresponding renown so in terms of your character you will still have to complete like dungeons and all these sorts of things because those things won't have been completed according to what they're saying so waypoints maps uh altars of lilith they will all be completed strongholds side dungeons and side quests will looks like it won't be completed okay so you can see on my character here my sorcerer i've got all the progression done but because you'll be only getting uh you know discovered areas and altars of lilith you'll have to farm your renown again to get back all of the uh the bonuses from the renown which is a little bit annoying um it would have been nice if this whole renown system was carried over but it is what it is also says here once the season has ended the character you made and its progress will be transferred to the eternal realm any items and you collect uh, including your seasonal stash will be transferred over to you can take this character into sanctuary whenever you please but season specific features like the malignant hearts will lo no longer be available after the season ends okay so because it is a season it will last a few months um, just note that within that time you want to be uh, farming up the malignant hearts and spending it at the end of the season so you don't miss out on anything or you're maximizing all of the rewards that you can get okay nothing too much else in here they're just talking about how the battle pass will work um, and stuff from the shop uh, they did have a developer 
live stream recently so you can check that out on YouTube um, let me know what your thoughts are on this particular season please leave a comment down below and as always have an awesome day and bye for now